This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Squarespace. Well, hello there, it's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. Now, every now and again, I get a message, I get a tweet, I get a YouTube ding or whatever <laughs> from people asking me, oh, what's your, what kind of gear do you use? How do you film all of these wonderful scenes for your episodes? And even in the last video, someone asked me if I can show you guys behind the scenes of what goes on into making one of these videos. So, for this all important, very special episode of What's the Apps, we're going to be checking out the behind the scenes of how everything goes on to make one of these videos. <laughs> I don't think that made sense. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. What's the apps? As you guys know, it's an application review show hosted by myself. And um, let me let me tell you guys, I have long exhausted my app library of applications that I would like to share. I I just don't use that many apps on a day-to-day -day basis. On my phone, I, I I use my phone to email, text, and to call people. That's it. I'm, I'm grandpa like that. So I talked to John and the Rev3 folk and they said, hey, you should ask the audience and ask them to give you some suggestions as to what to review. I'm like, okay. Like that. Double thumbs up. Just like that. <laughs> it happened just like that. The meeting happened just like that. So I started doing this recently and the feedback has been awesome minus the usual internet. I hate you kind of negativity going on and um, it benefits in two ways you know there's the whole audience interaction thing where it's like oh my god I can't believe John read whatever I said I have shivers and tingles running down my spine we have that which is great and you guys give me content to work with which is awesome so thank you and uh, after playing with the app for a few days I will write down some notes and because I do graphics uh, design uh, user interface design and all that kind of stuff um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I, I can use those principles to help me review the application. If it's you know, if it's not sleek, if it's not pretty, if it's not easy to use, if it's not intuitive, then in my opinion, it's not a very good application. I, I don't care if you're superstar Kanye West and you love this application right here. Let, let's call it. Okay, let's call it the Kanye West app. Let's pretend Kanye West has an app. I don't know if he does or not. And he loves his application. Well, I, I, I don't care if this is in this lyrical genius's app library. If it's not intuitive and if it's not you know easy to use, it, it doesn't count. It's not a good application, in my opinion, at least. In my opinion. So from those notes, I formulate the script, which I eventually perform. <laughs> I perform on camera and in a previous episode I actually mentioned that I write down all my video notes and everything with Evernote. In fact, I use Evernote for every single video project that I have to work on. It helps me stay organized, you know, and this is where all the magic magic happens. This is where I decide, okay, for this scene I'm going to appear on camera, for this scene I'm going to do the voiceover, for this scene I'm going to show me holding the phone, for this scene I'm going to show me tapping the screen and then the menu pops up and I'm all happy and everything. And yeah, everything is decided here. Once that's done, I go downstairs, aka my studio, aka my, my basement, and I uh, light up, you know, start the camera, turn on the lights, make sure I got my microphone all set up, and I perform the script on camera. I actually have a lot of fun doing the voiceovers, believe it or not. The, you know, the scenes where I'm not actually on camera. Because nowadays, I started integrating these unusual but quirky kind of run-on sentence kind of things. I, I can't describe it. Uh, let me see. Let me just check right here. There we go. This is a script from the last episode. And we have this little ditty right here. <coughs> um, this is actually performed on camera. Oh my goodness. I remember this. It took me like... Literally 40 to 50 takes to get this right. It took me about 12 minutes of practicing this thing. No, no, not practicing. Like trying to say it on camera. I practiced way before then as well. Ridiculous. Anyways, I said, uh -huh. personally, I feel like organization, you know, staying on top of your tasks, writing, highlighting, sending notes, setting reminders for due dates, study dates, meetings, projects, labs, social events, gatherings, heck, even setting reminders to wake you up for your 6 or 7 a.m. morning class. All that stuff is really, really, really important. With all of our fancy new gizmos and gadgets, organizational tools, aka applications, are right at our fingertips. Boom! Just like that. Showing off right now looking into the distance, not at the camera, trying to be all suave and cool. <laughs> 
after I'm done shooting everything, I come back upstairs to my office, aka the upstairs room. <laughs> I put everything together, I edit everything together, and bam, what you see behind me basically is uh, the rough edit of, no, this is the, the whole episode in, in, in its entirety, minus the B-roll shots, which is me holding the phone and be like, hey guys, this menu pops up and I'm like smiling and stuff like that. So yeah, this is basically the, the footage of me being on camera and um, the voiceovers. I just touched my screen. Squarespace is the fast and easy way to create a high quality blog, portfolio, or website. It's fully hosted and it takes care of all the nasty details to help you get your site online as fast as possible. There's nothing to download, nothing to install, and nothing to set. Up. You can choose from a wide variety of pro design templates out of the box. Then go on to customize anything with point and click control over every single element. Basically, a what you see is what you get kind of drag and drop system. Let me tell you, way better than dealing with actual code and brackets and image. SRCs and prefs and all that kind of stuff. Squarespace comes with a variety of page types from blogs to galleries to contact forms, all wonderful by the way, which can be snapped together in any configuration to build the site you want. Squarespace also comes with great social integration like Twitter and Flickr widgets built right into the system and has beautiful slideshows that you can add to any page on your site. Plus if you have any questions or need help, Squarespace provides every customer with amazing 24-7 support. If you have a, a kind of high profile site, you have a lot of traffic, you have a page rank of 4 or 5 or 6 or something like that, and your site goes down, alright, you want someone there to take care of it for you, whether it's server people, Squarespace people, it doesn't matter, you want someone to take care of your site, and uh, with 24-7 support from Squarespace, you will get that. That will happen, okay? Alright, so check out www.squarespace.com to get a two week free trial and 10% off. Just enter the coupon code TECHNO9. That's T E C H N O and the number 9. Final thoughts. So, I guess some tips for, for the up and coming tech reviewers, experienced tech reviewers, uh, videographers, video bloggers, and so on and so forth. The people who produce videos online. Um, I say follow the three P's. Three P's, okay? I just made this up right now <laughs> for this video. The three P's it's, uh, it's, uh, it's patience, practice, and perseverance. No, practice is first. Practice, patience, perseverance. There we go. Practice, because, all right. I have I have spent so many hours doing this online video stuff. I've been doing this for what one or two, one or two years now. Made over 300 videos online. Each video takes about you know two, three, four, five, six, even seven plus hours to make. So that's a lot of time, man. That's a lot of time for me to practice. And even nowadays, with all of that experience, I try to continuously learn new things. So for the next video, I might tweak this color to see to see if it works properly or do something with this audio setting you know forcing myself to learn i think that's really important so yeah practice second p <laughs> forgot it it's patience patience okay uh, you have to be very patient when you do these things especially if you can't um, get whatever you want to say you what am i trying to say this is a perfect example right here especially if you can't say whatever it is you want to say in front of the camera. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of not stubborn, but I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, okay? I want to say this specific line on camera, and no matter what, I'm gonna say it. So, I'll practice a bunch of time off camera, and then when I turn the camera on, I'll just say the line. And I'll keep doing it until I get it right. Even And even after 50 takes, if I don't get it right, I'll take a break and I'll try it again. Okay, I'll try the line again, and if I get, if I finally get the line right without me, you know, running out of breath or me making a weird noise like or something, <laughs> um, biting my tongue and so forth because I'm I'm just silly like that. Um, if I finally get it right, but I don't feel 100% with it, right? I feel like, oh, I could have just said it better. I'll try again. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm stupid. I waste too much time doing this kind of stuff, but I'll try again. And I'll try again a few more times. If I can't get it, then I'll have to settle for it. And um, if I just don't like it, then I'll just skip it all together. Throw it out. Throw it out. So much for being patient. So yeah, you got to be patient when you, when you do this stuff. And last one, perseverance. You... It, when you're doing this stuff with the internet, you're gonna get a lot of negative feedback. I don't know why. The negative, the internet just just kind of encourages people to be 
hate, haters. I hate, no, not, not even haters. The, the internet just makes people angry. I don't know why. It's like, ugh, you make a video, you suck, man. You, you, the video sucks. I hate your face here. My phone is bigger than yours. Just random stupid things like that. Don't let them get you down, all right? You know what you, you know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta work on. You know what you gotta improve on. And you know what you love doing. So, make sure you know all of that stuff. Keep doing what you love. Don't let anyone get you down. Be perseverance. Be perseverance. <laughs> What's that word? What's that word? Be perceptive. I don't know. Just, just hang in tough and just, just persevere, man. So remember the three P's. Patience. I screwed it up again. All right, the three P's. Uh, <laughs> crap. The three P's. Practice, patience, perseverance. Man, that, that, that's... oh well. No, oh well. You, you get to see. You get to see what really goes on. You know, me screwing up all the time. But you know. I practice, I'm patient, and I persevere, so yeah, <laughs> and um, that's all there is to it to, for this episode and my final notes and so on and so forth. So hopefully you guys found this video insightful, hopefully hopefully you guys like this episode, and again if you have any applications that you would like me to check out, feel free to let, let me know by commenting, man. So this was John Q from Techno Buffalo, thank you very much for checking out this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.